Here's number two. It tells us there's a bullet that's traveling at some velocity, and it'll hit a stick, and it'll leave with some new lower velocity. It tells us that this stick will begin to spin as a result, and it wants us to find the angular speed that this meter stick is spinning after the collision. So I'm going to write what I know. Well, first and foremost, it tells us that it's a meter stick, so its length is going to be one meter. It tells us that this meter stick has a mass of 360 grams, so I'll call this MS. It's going to be 0.36 kilograms. It tells us that the mass of the bullet is 6 grams, so I'll call this MB is equal to 0 0.006 kilograms. It tells us that the bullet's initial velocity is 280 meters per second, so I'll call it the initial, which will be equal to 280 meters per second. It tells us that the final velocity is 190 meters per second, so the final will be 190 meters per second. And again, it wants us to find the angular velocity of the stick after the collision. To solve, we use conservation of angular momentum. I'm going to say that momentum before is going to be equal to momentum after. Now, it tells us that this meter stick is not initially spinning before the collision, so it's not going to have any angular momentum, but this bullet will. And the formula for angular momentum of a point particle is mvr, where r is perpendicular to a point of interest that you get to pick. I'm going to pick this pivot here, which should just make this very convenient. I'm going to draw an imaginary line going through this axis here. And this is going to be the radius perpendicular, because it's going to be perpendicular to this point of interest. And this radius will always be the same for everywhere this bullet travels. Because this uh, perpendicular from this axis I chose to the bullet will always be the same, because the bullet doesn't drop or rise at all. So our perpendicular will be the same before the collision and after the collision. And our perpendicular is L over 4, because it tells us that it's pivoted about a center, and it tells us that the bullet will strike in between the top of the meter stick and um, the pivoted point. So it's going to be L over 4 from this pivot. So this mass is going to be the mass of the bullet, and I'm going to say that this is the initial angular momentum, so this will be the initial as well. Since so we also said that the stick isn't doesn't have any angular Momentum. We don't have to worry about um, adding an extra term to this one. But for angular momentum final, it's going to be equal to I omega, which is the angular momentum of the stick plus the angular momentum of the bullet. So it'll be MB, the final, because it's after, and then it'll be R per particular, because that doesn't change. Now I will usually be given to you in some chart or maybe in the problem. There is a derivation for it, but I'm not going to cover it in this video. So, i is going to be equal to 112 ml squared. Uh, I'll just leave it as i until the very end. So, I'm going to say that the initial angular momentum is going to be equal to the final angular momentum. So, it'll be mb vi r perpendicular is equal to i omega plus and b, v final, or perpendicular. Since we're solving for omega, I want to get omega by itself on one side by subtracting this term to both sides. And we'll get i omega, it's going to be equal to m b, v initial, r perpendicular, minus m b, v final, or perpendicular. I'm going to divide out this i to both sides, and we'll get omega is equal to mb vi r perpendicular minus mb v final r perpendicular all over i. Now we said that r perpendicular was l over 4, so now I'm going to substitute those to there, and we'll get mb times L over 4. I got this L over 4 from factoring out this R perpendicular and then substituting this L over 4 there. So it'll be times V initial minus V final. It'll be over 1 12th M L squared. And that's 12 since it's a divided by divided by we'll get uh, pushed to the top. So it'll be equal to 12 M B L 
this 4 is going to get down to the bottom. So it'll be 4 times v initial minus v final and times on the bottom m l squared. This m is going to be the mass of the stick because it came from this i, which is dealing with the moment of inertia of the stick. And that there can be simplified to 3. So it'll be 3 mbl times v initial minus v final all over the mass of the stick l squared. And one of those l's will cancel with that. So we'll get 3 mb v initial minus v final all over the mass of the stick times length. And that is the final answer. When you plug in these values, you get the right answer. Thank you very much.